In this video, I will show you everything you need to know about Dredge. I've beaten the game multiple times and discovered so many more useful things that I have to share with you. This video will be a collection of all the tips and tricks I discovered myself, found on the internet and got from you in the comments. These are useful tips for people who have just started playing, but also helpful tricks for experienced players. So let's get started and see for yourself. Be careful when transporting quest items. Most of them can be lost when your boat is getting damaged and then you won't be able to finish the quests. If it does happen, better restart from the last save so you don't lose out on the quest. Don't talk to the hooded figures unless you are ready for it. There are four hooded figures scattered throughout the map. They will ask for three fish and will give a book upon completing their pursuit. However, this is a time pursuit and if you take too long to deliver a fish, the hooded figure will pass away. So. Only start talking to them when you are sure you can finish the hunt in time. Focus on catching high value fish. Although smaller fish are common and simple to catch, just stocking the inventory of these is not the most profitable strategy. Instead, focusing on bigger fish first and organizing the inventory around them will typically result in more storage space, less time spent and a bigger catch overall. The banish ability, unlocked throughout the game, can defend you against everything except the Leviathan and the Unseeing Mother, so use it whenever you are in a dangerous situation. Speaking of engines, it is wisest to spend your points on researching and buying the small engine. You can fit it in the smaller spots in your inventory and you are only a little slower compared to the biggest, most expensive engine. Also, when your engine slots are getting damaged, you will only lose one of the small engines instead of your main engine, resulting in no major speed loss. Use your storage to clear your inventory of things you don't need right now. Inventory space has a high value when traveling in dredge and the storage is accessible on almost every station. So just clear out your inventory into your storage and access it wherever you go next. Never spend all of your money. It's smart to leave at least $100 in your bank so you can repair your ship when needed and you are not forced to leave the safe harbor with a damaged ship. You can use cheap crab pots to mark important spots on the map. Just put them down wherever you want and they will be displayed on the world map. Be careful when maneuvering your ship around tight corners. No matter how hard you hit something, you will always take damage. Of course, this does not apply to ports, which can simply be rammed at full speed without taking any damage. Make sure you buy explosives and make bait once you unlock the ability too. The traveling merchant will then sell these items. Also, always have some explosives in your inventory when exploring new areas, so you won't be blocked off and can access all areas. If you need materials to upgrade your ship, there is a spot where you can get an unlimited amount. The space near steel point has one place each for wood, metal and fabric. Just dredge up all the materials until the spots are empty and then head to the next harbor. There you can save and exit the game and when you reload into it, the spots are refreshed and you can keep dredging. Use your research parts wisely. Always keep in mind that you need specific fishing rods for new areas. So don't waste all of your research parts on other things or you will lose a lot of time. I had the case that I needed to scour the entire map for two research parts because I used all of them on engines and nets before continuing the story. Simply save some research parts if you can or unlock the fishing rods even if you don't need them just yet to avoid making this error. Use crab pots and nets. If you find yourself with money problems, the easiest way to get rid of them is by placing crab pots and using nets on your boat. Every now and then you have to repair them but the passive income they generate should be enough to quickly have more money than you can spend. If you need specific fish for quests, look up where they are in the encyclopedia and then buy and use some bait there. Sooner or later the fish you need will appear. Sometimes when you have a high panic during the day, ghost raven will appear. You can scare them away using banish, but you can also just use your air horn. It is accessible through the ability wheel. The character is actually resting when new parts are being fitted to the boat, so Schedule your refits through the night when you would be sleeping anyway to not lose precious daytime. There's actually a difference between the passive Kraken and the Kraken when it's about to attack you. When you enter its attack range, the abyss blue light, the light around the tentacle, will turn red. From there, you can just escape using haste. Always have a book equipped. By talking to people at some places on the map, you get books. These can be equipped and read over time. All you have to do is always, if possible, have a book equipped so you don't lose out on any rewards. When something slithers in your cargo hold, meaning you got an infected fish, just discard it instantly. It is not worth a lot in this condition and will only infect your other fish if you fail to do so. Research parts have a small chance to spawn when dredging materials. 
You can also buy them from the traveling merchant. They will not always appear in the shop, but if you save, exit and load the game again, the shop will reset and they have a new chance to appear. This can be done several times in a row to get a lot of research parts, but keep in mind, they are not cheap. Mindsuckers find the boat by movement. If your banish ability is on cooldown, you can simply stop your boat to avoid being harassed. Don't forget to use your scope. Make sure you stop once in a while and look around using your scope. This prevents you from wasting time by moving to fish that don't fit in your inventory or that you don't need. You can also see if the fish you are looking at is catchable with your current equipment or not. When you're in the twisted strands and roots appear in front of you, just wait in front of them until they disappear again. It will only take a few seconds and searching for a new way takes more time and is way more dangerous. The Phantom Shark, a sea creature that appears when the player has high panic, adjusts its path to your ship's natural movement and direction and if you suddenly change both last minute by turning and using haste, you can escape it unharmed. Be aware that every ability you use will increase your panic, even haste. Always explore and search for secrets. Although the main storyline may lead you to specific places to recover the next artifact, exploring other areas can be incredibly rewarding. If you find yourself with some free time and no pressing tasks, take the opportunity to visit some of these islands and see what you can uncover. The red fog, the miasma, will chase after you and increase your panic once it touches you. To avoid it, you need to turn off your lights. The miasma will then turn grey and can no longer harm you. Always wake up early. When you go to sleep on a dock, you are usually awakened at 6am, but that's not the best time to get up. In fact, it makes more sense to get up an hour or two earlier as it takes some time for the panic to rise and usually it's light by the time you get away from the dock. So, to save the most time, you should get up between 4 and 4.30 am. This will also allow you to catch night fish at 5 am without the danger of night. Use the haste and manifest ability to travel long distances. If possible, always use haste since it will make you reach your destinations a lot faster. Just be careful that you don't overuse it and ruin your engine. The manifest ability can also be used when banish is on cooldown and you need to escape a dangerous situation. When using the atrophy ability, unlocked later in the game, you will always get a corrupted fish. You can also use a combination of bait and atrophy to get any apparent you need. This is a simple way to complete your encyclopedia fast. If you learned even one new helpful thing in this video, please consider subscribing, so that you don't miss out on any future content and we together can reach the next big milestone. I already have many new video ideas and cool challenges in the planning and if you want to be part of it, press that button. So, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.